Hey. Uh, do you have any plans for tomorrow at like three? Okay, good. Uh, my dad wants to talk to us both. Yeah, he said shit's really going down in Relia, and he wants to make sure we get the whole picture. Uh, especially you. You didn't tell me, no. But it's probably just about the order and about me. Okay. It's gonna be fine, I promise. He likes you. And he probably just wants to get you up to speed on everything. <laughs> yeah, I'll text you when he's on his way and we can meet up. Alright, bye. Yeah, he's almost here. Nah, he still hasn't told me anything. Oh, there he is. Hey, kids. <laughs> hey, Dad. Nice to see you again. I'm glad you're both okay. Are we ready to rock and roll? <sighs> I hope I'm not making you too nervous. <laughs> glad to hear it. Dad, where are we even going? I'm taking y'all to the compound. Wait, what? <laughs> yes, we have a compound. There are some things you should know about us. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he also gave you a rather abridged version of the truth. Hey, come on. I was under a lot of stress. <laughs> Orders of shapeshifters have existed for as long as we know shapeshifters have. They used to function like nation states. Tribes, if you want. There would be relations between them, national identity in the form of which animals we prefer. Some people theorize that early shapeshifters got it from wolf pack behavior. I say they got it from us. <laughs> oh my god. Back then, being part of an order was necessary for survival, and conditions like that build traditions. Even if it's a lot more laid back nowadays, we still keep some of them around. But hell, there's probably less shapeshifters that are part of an order these days than not. But that's kind of the beauty of it. It's a bond you choose to have, and it means we can welcome in more people. Yup. One of those traditions I mentioned is to help those in need. Our order can be a family for people who wouldn't have one otherwise. There's kids at the compound who have no one else. No place to call home. Now they have places to go all over the country. Now, you might be wondering how we managed to stay afloat around here. I mean, after all, the good old Western Republic of North America isn't exactly amicable to magical folks. So, now that we're pulling up, you want to tell them what we do here, Ricky? <laughs> we sell drugs. <laughs> uh, well, that's one way to put it. Our order is called Congregatio Aconitas. The Latin name came after the rebrand something like 400 years ago. Do you know what Aconitas refers to? It's the name for an herb called monkshood, or, as some might know it, wolfsbane. <laughs> yeah, we might have had something to do with your school way back when, too. But that's a story for another day. Anyway, you humans tried a lot of things to get rid of us. Wolfsbane was one of them. It's pretty deadly to humans, but to shapeshifters, less so. For us, it's more like a depressant. Napolis is the species most everyone is familiar with, and it's particularly potent. But like Coctinum is much more suitable for our consumption due to its composition. So that's the one we cultivate. <laughs> it's like weed for werewolves. <laughs> you got that right. We get plenty of buyers at arm's reach and in Relia. It's because there aren't any laws about growing aconite. And the product isn't hurting any of our buyers. We can technically sell it as a... Supplement? 
And the WRNA doesn't give a crap. It's not really safe to just eat the plant, so we make them into gummies. Oh yeah. The toxins in just one plant can make hundreds and still be effective. It's a pretty profitable operation. It's enough to sustain the whole compound and everyone in it. But anyway... Uh, I didn't bring y'all here to talk about the manufacturing process. Here. Follow me. Have a seat. So, the guy who attacked you at the house. Apparently he was one of a whole bunch of people who caused explosions in Raelia the other day. He was one of the initial few in the last couple of weeks to suddenly gain the power of fire manipulation. Wait, so they caused the explosions with their powers? I'm afraid so. The situation's under control over there for now. But they've done some damage. As for our guy... We don't know where he is. After he got up at the house, he made a break for it and got away. Burned one of our guys pretty good. And we haven't been able to track him. To be frank with you, you're not safe. The guy's name is Ego, and he's already been causing some problems for Raelia. Even before the explosions. He's given himself a reputation for being... unstable. We've been advised to stay alert until they can apprehend him. Exactly. I don't think it's safe for you to be out and about without anybody watching your back. Well, what about and no, Ricky is not enough. No, I'm not going to force you to do anything. I'm just going to give you the option of staying here at the compound until this blows over. Like I said, we give help to those who need it. And given that you've just been thrown into the dangerous side of magic with no warning, I say you need it. Does that sound okay to you? All right. I'm glad to hear it. We can sort out more of the details later. But for now, I can show you up to where you'll be staying if you want. All right. After you. For what it's worth, I'm sorry that this is how you had to be introduced to magic. It really is a world of wonder if you look in the right places. Yeah, I hope things can get better for you. I think once we can actually go to Raelia, things will turn around pretty fast. <laughs> Here we are. Not much, but I hope you'll be comfortable. Ah, uh, don't go thanking me. I'm just making sure that my son and his pal are safe. That's my job, isn't it? It's no problem, really. Now, how about I leave you two to figure things out for a bit? And we'll reconvene later to talk about moving some of your stuff in here. Awesome. You got my number if you need anything. So, uh, what do you think? I know it's kind of a small room, but you get a nice view of the forest at least. I know. I'm... I'm scared too. But at least we'll be able to have each other's backs now. Hey, just because you can't shift that doesn't make you useless. It's having you around makes me feel better all the time. I'm sure all the other guys will agree too. Alright, so what do you, what do you want to move into this place? <laughs> yeah, I have my own room, like, down the hall, basically. <laughs> we can have the sleepovers that we talked about. <laughs> I know. I'm just glad that we're, we're gonna be safe, you know? It was, it was scary having to shift to protect you like that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay, 
Uh, should we like make a list of things you want to bring? Yeah, we can just bully him into driving us back. <laughs> yeah, alright, let's get started then.